Hey guys, hey, how you guys doing? Here's your doing, here's your. Cause today was tattoo day, and it was awesome, and I'm doing. So, uh, let's see here. Today started off kind of poopy. Um, the guy that I was supposed to be getting my tattoo from um, decided one hour before my uh, appointment to tell me that he was not going to be in town. Now, um, I live a good hour, hour 20 minish, minishes, minish, minutes away from um, this tattoo parlor. It's in Old Sacramento. If you guys go to Old Sacramento, um, I'll tell you uh, the one I went to today. So I was really frustrated and just kind of upset and a little, you know, getting really, really bothered by the fact that, you know, he didn't bother to tell me, I don't know, all weekend that he wasn't going to show up. Or the night before you know and then um, so my mother-in-law had just bought a new purse okay um, in one of the little shops and we um, we we went to go sit down so she could change out her purse and as we went to sit down I sat down in front of this place and I was like you know what maybe I should just look around and see if I can't find somebody to do it for me today because it was pretty dead there anyway and so we sat down and I was just relaxing and um, two guys came, there was a, a um, kind of a bar area, like a, the old Sacramento has like a lot of saloons and kind of Western feel to it. So there was like a saloon and then there was a downstairs, right? And that we sat in front of that and two guys came up from downstairs and then I guess they were meeting a friend or somebody out front and they were like, oh yeah, I work here now, da 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 da. We're just, I kind of gleaned a little bit because I was you know just looking on my phone to see where their tattoo parlors were and I heard him say that you know why don't you come by Saturday and I'll hook you up to this other guy so when he was about to walk away I said um, excuse me you know just randomly I said excuse me um, do you are you guys open today because I noticed it said River City Tattoos and I'd never really heard anything about them and normally I'm the person that would sit there and research and yelp everybody and just like look at the individual artists um, portfolio and stuff like that before I even make a decision like uh, the guy who did that one was the one that was supposed to do my tattoo today and I had um, he's a uh, script specialist and that's why I went to him because I wanted script and I wanted it to be really pretty um, well, we sat down and we were just kind of, you know, um, and the guy, and I, he said, yeah, actually we are open today. And I'm like, would you be able to do a tattoo like, you know, pretty soon? He said, oh yeah. So I pulled him aside and I said, you wouldn't believe what happened to me today. The guy that was supposed to meet me over at this place, um, couldn't make it and didn't tell me until like right now I live in Fairfield, you know, it's kind of a big deal for me to come all the way out here. And, um, you know, he, he's like, well, what are you looking to get? And so I showed him, you know, a picture of my, the tattoos that I wanted. He's like, I'm like, can you do something like that? He's like, absolutely. Yeah. Come downstairs. So we went downstairs and then he was, um, and I'll tell you a funny part here in a minute when my mother-in-law comes over here. Um, one thing, okay. One thing I want to kind of mention to you guys, which my mother-in-law will kind of reiterate here in a minute. I don't talk to strangers. My husband will talk to strangers. Elise will talk to strangers. Like, I am very observant and kind of reserved until I get to know you. And then all bets are off. <laughs> once once you and I, you know, once, once I know I can trust you and you can handle all this, then, you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll kind of just be my, be my, be myself. But, um, so for me to, you know, if she's putting stuff, ouch, ouch. Ouch, hold on. And she's putting stuff in um, her new bag and not really paying attention to me while I'm on the phone. And it's really funny because she'll tell you something funny here in a minute. But I, let's let's skip to me going downstairs. So he didn't tell me how much he was going to charge and he was just sketching things out. And I sent him all the information that I wanted. And, um, you know, he comes back out and he's like, can we make this for 2 o'clock? And then... Um, you know, he started sketching out my design and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, you know what? Um, I could do something like this in about an hour, hour and a half. And it was about $200. And I was like, that's cheaper than the other guy that I was going to go to. 
And so I was really, really excited about all that. And you're going to see a lot of footage and video, uh, not video, but pictures and stuff of that as well. Um, it was it was definitely meant to be for me to meet him today, um, that I sat down at that specific place, that um, sometimes when things don't work out and they don't work out for a reason, you have to be willing to be flexible and take things kind of in stride, which is something that I learned really valuable today because I could have let that guy messaging me like, less than an hour from then I could have let the rest of the day um, be really angry and ruin my time in Old Sacramento um, I could have just said screw this and gone home um, you know and not gotten one at all but you know I think it was definitely meant for me to be there and to have met him today because he was very very sweet um, everything that I asked him to do he went above and beyond to make sure that you know the tattoo was exactly what I wanted and this was even um, like when I when I looked through his portfolio he didn't have a whole lot of color tattoos so this was even out of his um, normal you know um, range and I'm just very excited and very lucky to have worked with him and um, his uh, let's see if I can find it he, he is at River City Tattoo and his name is Johnny, and I don't know what I did with the damn card. Of course, oh yeah, here it is. Um, River City Tattoo, and his name is Johnny Be Bad, <laughs> with two Ds. I thought it was really cute. That's his Instagram as well. Um, I have not added him on Facebook. I'm not sure. River City Tattoo. Um, I really enjoyed working with him. So... If any of you guys live in this area or, you know, are coming through or something like that and you're looking for a good tattooist, um, you can kind of take a look at mine. And he was more than willing to do anything I asked him to. Um, I asked him for more black. I asked him for more, you know, embers. I asked him for you no know, cursive. Like, anything that I asked him to do, he was more than happy to do. And that was that just showed me that, you know, he really did want my business and he wanted me ultimately to go home happy. Um, because I have worked with other tattoo artists who were just like, they thought their shit didn't stink. Um, you know, that if you ask them to change something, they become kind of pissy about it, you know, cause they're the artiste and you're just a client. So you need to trust them. Well, <clears throat> you know, stuff like that. Um, th to me, there's a problem with, with tattoo artists that kind of treat you like that. So I'm going to have my mother-in-law tell you something real funny. And my husband is being a butt because he... Did you want me to cut it in here? Four pieces. Really? Four pieces. Okay. My husband, who I love, uh, he likes some crisscross applesauce. Crisscross. Crisscross applesauce. Food tastes better in triangles. In fours, yeah. yeah. Triangles? Yeah. 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 And then triangles. Food tastes better in triangles. Yeah. Yeah. It's proven fact. I don't know how to make a triangle. You ever this. you ever had a pizza? How it's in a triangle? Like it's circle but cut in a triangle. You ever had a pie? We're or aggravating her. Food it tastes better in triangles. Does it? Does it? it? Does. Oh, apparently it does. Prove me wrong. You can. My mother in law is making my husband a sandwich because I'm unable to. Uh, number one, I'm making a video. Number two, uh, my leg is very swollen and then 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 and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. Um, you can't do that. She's actually trying to to cut his sandwich in fucking triangles. Yeah. This is okay. These are as good triangles as you're gonna get. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's Do it again. No, just yeah. do it. Again. Yeah, All I'll right, come here, mom. Come here, mom. Come here, mom. Okay. Thank you. So, all right, so funny, funny time. All right, so when you were no. sitting there and I, I started talking to those guys, what, were, what did you think? Oh, I thought, oh my gosh, Nirvana is reaching out to other people, finally. She never talks to strangers, so 
I was putting uh, my stuff in my new purse, and uh, so I wasn't paying attention to who she was talking to, but I, th I heard her ta over there talking to a couple of guys, and I thought, oh, that's good. She's finally <coughs> reaching out to somebody. Finally. God. And I thought it was kind of weird because she was telling them about, uh, you know, her, uh, her being upset because somebody didn't show up for their, you know, appointment for the tattoo, and... And then I thought, man, it's kind of weird because <laughs> I thought they were bums, number one. <laughs> and I thought she'd tell anybody at this point. But I thought, well, that's okay because, you know, she's reaching out. To bums. Anybody at this point. And I thought that's better than nobody. And she never talks to anybody. And, and I thought that's a good thing, you know. They're bums, but okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> so I'm talking to the tattooist. I didn't, which I didn't know. And um, <laughs> so, but I thought it was good because she was reaching out. Then I, then I just grabbed two random guys off the road and I was like, hey, come listen to me about my tattoo. Like, yeah. She was upset and she was, you know, talking to some strangers about it. And I thought that was a great thing. And, and, uh, but apparently they were the tattooists. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't talk to random people on the street, ever. Well, I knew you were... She was really upset, so I thought, she. I guess she just had to get it out. I, I did. She just had to get it out of anybody. Just any, I just two grabbed bums. two bums off the road. I was like, hey, hey, bum, hey, bum, come here. Come here, I got five dollars, come here, come here. But they were actually really nice yeah. people. Bums, they were and really nice. <laughs> <laughs> really nice looking tattooist bums. Really nice bums. <laughs> they were very nice. And they did, a, oh, the one guy did an excellent job. He did a great job. Like, I'm I'm so lucky that, you know, we sat down in front of there and then he Yeah, it was really there. weird how that worked out. It was like exact timing. We parked in the exact place. Uh, they walked out right at the exact time. She got that phone call right at the exact time about her cancellation of the appointment uh, it was really weird how that just everything worked out just at the right time. I think he was meant to do my tattoo. I really do. I yeah. think, you know, cause that was the second time that guy had canceled on me. You know, yeah. I think I was meant to find somebody else. Yeah. And, and it's really beautiful and I love it. Yes. And just like did. my mother-in-law. Yes. And he did a beautiful job. And she reached out to some strangers at the right time. I did. I was like, hey, bums. Hey, <laughs> do you guys tattoo? You ever been a tattooed bum? No? You're welcome. Hey, you like that sandwich? The triangled sandwich that she made him, he likes it. <laughs> no, and we saw Jody today, and she got to meet Jody, and Jody got to meet her. Very sweet lady. Very, Very nice. Wonderful friend, and I love her so much. And um, we had some fairly mediocre Mexican food, yeah, and the worst coffee we've ever had. Well, we didn't drink that coffee. And the, what did the water taste like? I think it had, I don't know. Yeah. I, I it tasted like something that it just wasn't right. Uh, it had a hint of ass to it. Like, See, I wouldn't know that flavor because I've never had that. So she's not going to admit. Apparently somebody has. <laughs> she ain't going to admit it, but me and Jody were both like, this water has a, a hint of ass to it. Yes, yes, there, there's, there's a hint of ass aftertaste to this water. Um, you know, we were all really hungry. Well, at least I was starving to death, and I know my mother-in-law was hungry. So everything was kind of either really, really expensive, or it was all carbs like funnel cakes. And we... We passed up mini donuts, corn dogs, funnel cakes, ice cream, popcorn. We we passed all of that up. All of that up. Like, you don't know how hard that was because I was like, oh, my, and it smelled so good. So, um, I have lots of clips of it. Uh, I have pictures of me and Jody and my mother-in-law and... I, all in all, I've had a wonderful day. Um, I was meant to have this day. I was meant to do it. And you guys are going to ask me about what the dates on my tattoo are. And 1995, my dad died. Um, uh, 2008, my brother died. 2010, I got married to my beautiful, wonderful husband. And 2013, I had my gastric bypass. And I left 
um, two more spots for my uh, revision and then if I ever get pregnant or if I ever adopt. So um, the tattoo is, it symbolizes everything that I've gone through and how I'm just kind of rising above all of the um, trials and tribulations that life has given me and I continue to to fight and, and rise through them. So I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I hope everyone's having a wonderful start of your weekend. Uh, week, not weekend. I don't, I don't calendar here. And I will talk to you very, very, very soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Does he mind being on video or should I not video? I should probably ask. You should ask him. As long as it's not, you're not in my basement here. Uh, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> hey, she's getting ready. Look, I'm doing an up and down the body thing. Yep. We're right. doing, that's the spot. Right there. Right yes, and who are we here with? We're here with the beautiful and gorgeous Elise. Yes, she is gorgeous. And the Jody. The Jody. Gorgeous Jody. Uh, you know, today, it's a work day. What can I say? <laughs> hey guys. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's looking hot now. <laughs> that hurt? Yeah. I'm hurting for you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Because you really can't move, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What does it feel like? Burning? Needle. It's getting a little burning. <laughs> right? What's up? Like burning. Burning, yeah. Some good scratching. Yeah. A hot scratch. I mean, there was a cat scratch, and then you have that kind of ooh, that gorgeous. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Hmm. Okay, so I've got home and I've got, I know it's very swollen, but I also had to walk quite a long way. Um, right now I have back to tracing on it. Later I'll start using the, um, the A and D ointment. And then I have what's called hustle butter, which he said would be fine. So my dogs are having fun.